All right, we've just done uh, another little exercise. Okay, next exercise coming up that we're going to do is half lap games. So uh, two groups, half lap apart, and then on the whistle, um, the front couple of riders accelerate off, gain half a lap, join on to the back of the next group. So this is all about big hard efforts for making the catch and then resting nice and easy um, when you're just in the stationary line and uh, not trying to go too hard. So it's basic interval training. It's really important to go really, really hard in the hard bits, really, really easy in the easy bits. And hopefully the data is going to reflect that. So hard in the hard bits, easy in the easy bits. That was the aim of this particular exercise. Well, I largely managed to do that, but I actually fell into a trap that is a quite a common trap in interval training. And I'll tell you a little bit about it in just a minute. But for now, we can have a little look. We can see we're resting, we're just ticking along 60 watts, 70 watts, 100 watts, just turning the pedals over enough to keep myself going. And we've got our big kick down the track, 630 watts, tapering off to about 460 by the time I make the catch and swing up the track. Okay, just turning my feet over, a little bit of ticking, we're back in the line. Then the second one, another sort of 700 watt punch off the front, and we're down to about 350 at the finish. Another nice long rest, and then back up again, another seven, 800 watts, and 400 at the finish. So I've actually achieved the aims I set out to achieve. I've gone nice and hard on the hard bits, nice and easy on the easy bits. The problem that I have with these intervals is the shape of them. Now, this is quite a common issue in a lot of people's interval training, and it's one of the things that you really need to focus on getting right. We'll do a whole video about this um, in the future. We talk about the details of interval training. So this is just a brief outline. The intervals should be flat across the top like this. Okay, They shouldn't tail off like that. This first one is actually not that bad. Um, this middle one, though, this is quite badly done because what I'm not doing is I'm not spending enough time, any particular power to achieve any adaptation associated with that. So I'm only spending a few seconds at 730 watts, only spending a few seconds at 650, I'm only spending a few seconds at 500 and so on and so forth. So my body is not actually becoming more efficient at riding at these powers. Instead of doing a really targeted specific interval, um, that's going to aim to improve my power output in one specific area. I'm kind of hitting a lot of different levels of power, but I'm not spending enough time at any of them to actually make much of a change in my body. So these intervals, whilst they look, you know, you might say, OK, 700 watt attack, that's not that bad. Um, actually, these intervals have probably not done a whole lot for me. Um, I could make some excuses. I could say that, you know, I mostly ride on an indoor track where gaining laps takes a little bit longer. I'm not quite used to the pattern of it outdoors. Um, but the truth is that I just didn't really concentrate and I didn't really do these intervals in the way that I should have. So learn from my mistakes. We don't want intervals that are shaped like this if we're trying to achieve endurance focused gains. OK, a true sprinter um, doesn't too much mind an interval like that um, as long as they've gone you know, hard enough to really stress their body. I didn't really do that. This is not this is not sort of representative of me riding at my limit. Um, so I haven't stressed my body in that way and I haven't ridden at a steady power. So I haven't stressed my body in that way. So don't do what I do. Um, try and learn from my mistakes. All right. So that's that covered and we will see you again in uh, tomorrow for the next video.